All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna do something like really different. I've never done anything like this on my channel before. Um, hey, I went ahead and did the fully equipped it, event. No um, I thought it was like a pure draft can. thing, but I realized like very quickly that um, it just adds cards to your current deck. So um, I didn't like the deck that I chose at first, so I just played a new spell slinger every time, ended up playing four different spell slingers. Um, let me know if you guys enjoy this type of thing where I play you know, multiple spell slingers in the same video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and thank you for watching. So in today's video, I'm going to see what this fully equipped event's all about, so I'm just going to take you through the entire thing, right? Uh, yes, I'm sure I want to play. That's why I clicked it. Um, I thought that... You, like, draft the whole thing. Well, just in case, I'm going to run the most broken thing I can run. Yeah, I just want the prize, right? Okay, so it must not be what I thought it was at all. So maybe um, this won't be an enjoyable video whatsoever for anyone. But we'll see. A clash of titans is about to Or do you, does it just draft all to the deck and just makes my deck really huge, which completely counteracts my strategy? That'd be kind of funny. Let's find out. I want to mill this. Two crabs versus this is pretty good, though. Let's see what you have in mind. Did I just accidentally queue onto the ladder, even though I thought I was in the event? OBS acting crazy again. Jesus. Sorry about that. OBS was just freezing up, so I opened up my Taskmaster, just um, closed some stuff out. Seems to be okay now. But it looks like they just played this after taking forever. Um, really hope I join the event. Maybe I just... Okay, I did join the event, so I'm going to take this. Um, fighting their stuff seems pretty good. I'll take something that helps me draw. Um... That seems pretty good. Okay, well, at least this isn't like super boring. I'm not saying it's thrilling, but you know. Uh, let me see, this is blocked. I will go ahead and just play two of them. Yeah, so now there's 37 cards in the deck, so this at all, this won't at all function how I wanted to function. I didn't realize it was like your base deck and then you do it. I thought we were like drafting everything. But I guess that makes sense. You have to have a deck to start with to like add stuff to the deck, right? Okay. Does this say something that attacked last turn? Okay. Well, I still think that's fine to play. And, um, you know, stifles them even harder. And this could end up just being a fun game, right? And if you only need one win, I'll just hop on something with like like completely different, since the Jace deck won't be uh, prevalent whatsoever. At least I don't think it will, because you're just constantly adding stuff. Um, what would be a deck I don't mind stuff being added to? Uh, Ashiok, I guess. I thought the event was saying at the start of every turn that happens. Is it just the first turn? In this case, I'm just gonna I can just play this deck like normal, and this deck should still be the best deck. So yeah, that's fine. Interesting card for them to run. Um, I like it a lot for you know if you're in an aggressive meta, it'll be a really good way for them to stabilize, right? Um. So, just one more taste. Like, why not? Fire in the hall. Up in the sure. 
like once my ability pops, it doesn't really matter how many cards are in my deck. I can go through the deck so fast. Maybe I'll do a few of these in this in this one video. I'm recording this a, a day ahead because I'm going to the Renaissance Fair tomorrow. Why, thank you so I don't want to worry about it, you know. Like I'll get home at like five or six or later, so um, I don't mind having like a really long video because I can upload it tonight, and um, you know, it doesn't matter if it takes all night to upload, right? Um, so this only does three, which yeah, that's unfortunate. Maybe I can bait him. I doubt it. To your hell. Okay, maybe he just doesn't care. Um, so die. Since I drew the figment, I will go ahead and draft. Seems appropriate for the event, right? Why not? I don't know how much fun the event's gonna be, because there's literally no reason to just not run this deck still. It's like barely any slower. And you could even get like choices that help it out. I mean maybe it is like just slow enough. Like maybe something like Chandra is actually really good in this format. I don't know. I have to play with it some more. I really like um in Elder Scrolls Legends, I forgot what the name of the format was called, but it was really good. I'm just gonna take the three. You can't combo, so yeah, don't care. And then this is gonna kill this thing. <laughs> Seemed really underwhelming. And this thing, this thing has got to be just a menace for them, right? Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and add the charges. Only seven cards until the ability pops. Sorry for the really boring game. I'll make sure the next one's, you know, solid. Ooh, I like that. Um, they're not doomed because he didn't play it, so... That works for me, I guess. This is kind of dangerous. I mean, I already have the win con. So, I'll, I'll just take that. Um, <laughs> let's just go ahead and put it in the grave and we can, you know, keep going. So, I mean, we have blockers for that thing, so I don't really care about it. Uh, let's see. Should I just go ahead and pop it now? I feel like I should just pop it now. So many possibilities. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Do do do. So we have twenty three cards left in deck. I mean, I guess it. I guess it is slowed down like pretty considerably. And now I feast. Okay, I'm just gonna block, and then I have another one of these for it. Do you think you'd want to play these after he does, he's you know, does some damage and makes me answer the board? Because if he knows the format at all, he knows this deck doesn't have board wipes, so he can make these like really big and then go in. But you know, maybe they're just not familiar. I'm not sure. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, uh, die. Should have done that first. Like it doesn't like the sequencing in this deck just absolutely doesn't matter because it's so broken. Um, I'm just gonna keep drawing. Apparently, I'm just never gonna need this. So that seems dumb. The fact that that even gives this makes the deck so much more broken, and it also gives the new card that mills one, draws one. Like, it's just absolutely insanity. Absolute insanity. 19 cards left. It'll be over really soon. 
My blessing is oh, interesting. Upon okay. I like that. Not really something I want to repulse, but... You know, I'm not really sure it matters too much. Cool, look at this. Ta-da! Um... Yeah. I don't care how big his deck gets, he's gonna be dead before it matters. Um, I can go ahead and... Do I want to play this out now? Now let's do this, get back the extractor, and then... Um, we can just anticipate... And then mill one. Um, let's see... Does this still happen? Okay, yeah, maybe. Um, whatever, it doesn't matter. Interesting. Okay, so die. Play uh, three, six, seven. I don't really care if I don't get the full value of it. I'm just gonna draw a bunch. Oops, too many cards. Yeah, it's fine. Um, that's more than fine. Um, I'm just gain everything back. Um, I can go ahead and play this. I can do this. These animations do take a hot second though, don't they? Um, whatever. Just get out of my hand, please. Get out of my hand, please. Um, how many cards left? Five. Um, well, I was trying to bring it back, but sure. Um, there's no way for me to kill one of these, so... Um, I prefer laboratory five cards left. And then after I pop this for two... I mean, I can, I mean, I can draw my deck out with just opportunity, so... This was weird. The, like, the Moonshackle things. Like, that almost, that almost bored me to tears. My blessing is upon you. Mm -hmm. Now, if you guys, if you're trying to build your collection, play the absolute best thing you can play. It doesn't matter how lame it is, and get those rewards and just build up your collection. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Soon. Soon. Oops, too many cards. Now the game's gonna sit here and just take forever. <laughs> Soon. Soon. Oops, will everything stop cards. and just this will auto do it? Or just doesn't check like that. There we go. Thanks for the match. Cool, I guess. Not really. Cool is definitely not the right word, though. Hmm. Just what I, I don't even remember what the word is. I think it's like 800 gold. It's not even that great. I just want to see what it is, and then I'm going to, you know, pick some deck at random to play. Well, maybe not at random, but you know what I mean. I don't know, it also depends what the entry is. I'm great at mind games. Okay. It was just 800 gold. And then begin. Wow. And then the entry fee is 500. Okay. So, I don't know if you think you can keep winning. See if it's worth it. I'm going to decide what deck I want to play for real now.
So for the second game, I'm just gonna play some uh, Chandra and just see how it goes. <laughs> Look, it's, it's just gonna it's just gonna torment me no matter what. Um, can't even play an event for fun. So, but um, oh well. Even if I lose this, I net 300. Okay, they're not running the artifact land, so maybe this isn't the silly version. I'm gonna mull until I get a two drop or one drop. Oh, I'm just gonna draw like the absolute top of my curve both times, but sure. Let's see what you have in mind. This like almost never happens when I play Chandra. That could help me draw some like removal. There's a two drop, so now I have two, three, four, five. So no one drop, sadly, but at least I have a curve now. This could be really nasty. Um, I didn't realize it, but um, oh no, that was from the draft. So I do have my premiums in here. All right, good. Starcraft and premiums, you get addicted because it's like they look so lame. Not pretty, like the flames behind Blitz Blitzing Minotaur looks so good, and this just is like, well, you know. But I mean, that's like the whole point. Like they want you to, you know. Okay, this just definitely isn't what I wanted. Uh, thought it was. <coughs> so that's cool. All right, so now we're gonna go Tusker into three drop into four drop. And hopefully stomp some Jace. Well, this is very unfortunate um, that this is the uh, card I'm seeing, right? Um, it doesn't really matter. We had to attack through it, so uh, let's attack through it. And then we're going to try and ignore this for the rest of the game. Yeah. No quarter. Is there... Sorry if I'm not talking as much. I think all the plays are like really obvious. We don't care about this. Maybe we want to attack Jace, not uh, trade off for Jace. He already drew another one. Unless he's unless that's his splash. That could be his splash. This is really funny. No quarter. And we already have five in hand. This is gonna be however many attackers I have. When I drop it, it could just be next turn. I don't know. It depends what he does. Um, if he does something like repulse, then I'm just gonna slam this down and attack him for five. I was really hoping it was repulse. Not gonna lie. All right, please tell me he has no other play. Is that anticipate? Feels like an anticipate. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Still gonna slam this down. And he's gonna be forced to block one of them. He's gonna go to ten at, you know, at the least, or at the most. And then uh, lava axe is half that. And then once this starts going off, you know, we're grooving. So <laughs> we don't give a crap. Almost cursed. I'm trying not to curse on my channel. Don't be something ginormous. I'm pissed. Okay. Like, I was waiting for, like, the Day of Judgment god off the top pole, you know, and just... It makes me want to kill everything. Um, so I kind of want to do this. Um, yeah, I think I do want to do that still. So if he wants to kill my Hell Rider with his block, then he has to let five through. Take three. And then Lava Axe, he's dead next turn unless he heals some, right? That was really short-sighted by them. Uh, Hellrider is the right thing to block, unless he's got... Uh, maybe he's got a board right... I don't, I don't know, I don't know how he'd have it reduced. Did I miss something? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna play a different deck now, so this is gonna be like kind of like a... Um, I don't know what you call that. Um, what do you call that in like uh, like fighting card, fighting card games? Like fighting games when... Uh, like an all-star type thing. I don't know what to call that. And you get the same 800 gold every time, right? Man, maybe maybe I need to start farming this kind of stuff and just... 
I mean, it's just free currency, right? Yeah. Yeah, I need to start doing stuff like this, too. I just made a collection video talking about, like, the things you need to do, but when you have an event like this, just farm it, man. So, I already had this Golgari zombie list made, and I actually had a video for it made already, but then I hit Mythic, and I didn't want to, like, confuse people, like, oh, I thought he said it was Mythic, and he's posting a video of him in Diamond, even though it was pre-recorded, so I just scrapped it, but now I get a chance to play it, so... I hope it's just not, you know, self-mill uh, artifact Jace garbage, right? Um, but, you know. My goodness, this wait time is considerable. Do, 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 do. I'm playing the new Behemoth card. I know it's not, you know, the best thing to be playing. I just want to play with it, okay? So, for someone in the comments, it's like, that card's not optimal. I don't care. I don't care about your opinion. Thank you. Um, I am just trying to have fun. Sometimes. But, like, I'll make a video and I'm, like, really clear that, like, this is a rough draft first deck. And someone's like, well, you didn't include this. I'm like, I know, bro. I know. Calm down. Well, this is making me wonder if there's like a bug. But I do I do enjoy the comments though. Leave more comments. That's good for uh, engagement. And I know most of the time comments are coming from like a good a good place, you know. That's one it's one thing I like about um my YouTube channel is uh, most people are just super cool and uh, really chill. It's good vibes, man. Especially when I'm doing this like, you know, there's no reward for me doing this until I get partnered, so um, you know, just positivity is like another thing that like just keeps me making the videos. I think I checked today. I got like um, oh, like 95 Spellsinger videos or something now. It's kind of crazy. I want to I cancel and just try this again and see if uh, see if that matters. But um, yeah, it's just one of the things that makes it worth doing in the meantime. But guys, I don't know what's going on. Wow, okay. Well, they've got the right idea. We'll give them that. Chandra's, Chandra's so good. Chandra's under... Look, every at the start of every format, if you want to like just beat face, just play Chandra while other people are testing I'm stuff and just you skyrocket your rank. Because people just... They underestimate Chandra, and she's great for dealing with people that are trying to test things out. This seems like a really good card against Chandra. You know, you get a block, you get to heal one, and it comes back. Seems kind of annoying. If it doesn't happen by then, then grotesque. It's just gonna, you know, use it for food. And then 6-6 uh, six, six is really hard for Chandra to get over. I know as being a Chandra player myself. I know you guys have seen me play a bunch of uh, Wizards decks, but, um, it's cool the Wizard decks, but uh, Chandra is like way up there for me. Um, I like, like, all in aggression control or like tempo those are like my three things or like a, if there's like a really really sticky mid-range um like in elder scrolls legends um there's a keyword called ward um i guess there isn't magic too but um the first damage that would be dealt to it isn't dealt to it and that includes like combat you know whatever damage and um let you have like a whole bunch of like sticky threats so i love playing uh mid-range sorcerer in that in that game it was super fun i don't i have no idea what's happening and why things are taking so long Oh, it's because of the drafting thing. They're like, oh my god, I have to think about something for a second. Um, that seems really annoying for them to... Um, I wouldn't mind having a 4-6, right? That seems like they could win me the game. That seems like they could mess me up. I guess I'm taking Staff of Fortitude for what it's worth. Could help me trade, I suppose. Um, yeah, so um, whenever you have the ring charge, um, I always like to bring out the Tusker or the Watch Wolf because it's just like, it's so hard for decks to deal with it. Now, Chandra has a few cards that can actually have three power on two or four power if they have the um, the Goblin that gives plus two O, but um, it's, it's super obnoxious seeing this as a Chandra player. Yeah, and this is, this is another one of the cards that can actually trade with it. Huh. And I hope they trade. Um, please trade. 
Thank you. All right, and now we're just going to go to uh, Relentless Ghouls so I can uh, sack one of them to um, Grotesque next turn, right? I'm not sure if I'm going to call the video after this one, but, um, you know, showing you guys three different three different uh, Swell Slingers. See, let me know if you guys like that kind of thing, and maybe that's something I could do more. I find it stimulating um, hopping from deck to deck. I think it's kind of fun. Not kind of fun, it, it, it's fun. This into this is like, it's got to be just like a, you know, just an absolute wall for them. And when I go wide with uh, Relentless Creatures, uh, the Trumpet Blast is going to be a problem. Yeah, whatever, dude. Alright. And now we're just going to pass. We can take our time a little bit, especially with this. I don't know why it gave me the option to draft this both times, but... Um, this isn't a card I'd ever, like, play in a deck, but, like, it's... Or maybe, maybe like, a flyer deck one day, but... Um, that's pretty much it. Or maybe like a super sneaky deck. You know, you get the idea, but um, drafting this is fun. 3-3 yeah. three, three, Haste Fleeting. I'm just going to ignore that every time. And this enormous tempo loss that they just took is... that You can't play cards like this in Chandra. You just you, you nullify the entire purpose of playing Chandra. Now, I don't know if there's some combo he's about to whip out and make me really sad, but... Um, <laughs> let's see. So we're going to attack here. And I'm just gonna play Goliath, man. Yeah, that's cool. Cause uh, playing Goliath because I have Zombify. So once Goliath is you know dead and then dead again, then Zombify will probably like steal me the game by itself. And you know we haven't seen any of my green splash. You know, oh you know we saw Tusker, and but you know it got traded off, but still. Do do do, and also when we build go really wide like this, wide like this, we don't also just have trumpet blast. We have the um, we have the um, behemoth as well. So I feel like they're trying to set up multiple um, flame shots to clean up my board, which isn't a terrible idea, but it's just really slow still. So they're they're not really playing Chandra. They're not playing to like the strengths of Chandra. So now he wants me to block. Um, he wants me to block like this, which I'm not going to do. That's totally fine. So now I'm going to, like, he basically has to block this now. Hmm. I could summon, like, um... Try, I'm going to try not to chew that on camera. I'm a bad, I'm a chewer. I don't know. But, um, I can play this. Just never mind. Wait a minute. If he blocks this, you know, I played the trumpet, he's taking 8, uh, 12, 14. I mean, it's not lights out, so I don't think it's worth it right now, but... We're gonna do this, we're just gonna play another Goliath, we're gonna play a one drop, and then we're gonna trumpet next turn, he's dead. I have no idea what they're doing, um, their deck really sucks. Yeah. Like, it almost looked like a normal Chandra deck, and then they played this thing. Okay, so they know, so they're just giving up. Um, haven't decided if I'm going to play one more game or not, but... Um, I'm going to add up the time and see real quick. Okay, I decided to do one more game with the um, Flying Gideon deck, because I've been wanting to play it, so... Um, I didn't adjust it, I didn't put in removal. I know I said I forgot to last time, I don't care. Um, I just want to play with it how it is. And if I lose, that's cool. Um, I really like this deck. I think it's got a lot of potential. As soon as the meta gets fixed, there's the, like the floodgates are open. Like there's so much cool stuff out there. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna pause it and then I'll just press play whenever it finds someone. All right. So I finally found someone after sitting here. I started watching YouTube because on my phone because the wait time was so long. And of course, it's against a freaking Dritz. So. Um, you know, you guys know how I feel about Dreads, so. Um, would be great to win. Highly doubt it, especially with no removal. Um, I would like to draw any one or two drops. That'd be fantastic, please. There's my there's my boy. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Well, then. Hmm. Let events take their course. Now we're talking. It's, an it's not going to be good enough to beat uh, Dreads, but... 
Um, definitely going to be the last game, though, because uh, the wait time was, like, absolutely insane. Hmm. Okay, and this, this Dritz is just going to annoy me by taking forever. Oh, I recognize this dude. This dude was playing Dritz when Dritz first came out. He's still playing Dritz? Bro. That must be his, like, his just, like, pet thing, I guess. I don't know. Uh... Do I just want to play one and then two, or do I want to just go these two and then one? If I go these two and then one, I can attack on three versus um, not being able to attack. Well, I'll only be able to attack on three if I draw something else to curve into. Oh, it's the drafting thing. I keep forgetting about the drafting thing. Apparently, I'm the only person that like drafts that quickly. Oh, of course, they have a, a flyer that's, you know, a ramper. Stops my whole strategy. Um, so we're picking that, and that's obvious. Um, looks like we do have removal. So considering the other two are completely useless, this is only, like, almost definitely useless, then yeah, we're... Uh, I've got things to do now on other turns, so I can just give this haste and, and smack them, so... Um, you know... I guess it could be worse. Oh, cool! The really dumb combo that I told I tell you guys about this every time, every video. How stupid this is! All right, so we're gonna we're gonna try and take the least amount of damage possible. And um, now our chances of racing are completely over because they literally had this combo. I hate this. I hate everything about this spell slinger. It's like so poorly designed, so pushed. Even after they nerf it, like the lines the deck has just makes no sense. So this is completely fine we if they trade one. here. I have to tr I have to start poking as soon as possible. Oh, and now they have shields up. This is this is the garbage I'm talking about. If I have to dungeon guys the zero one flyer, I'm gonna be annoyed. Just like we practiced. I was hoping they'd at least have to like wait till they summon like a big enough uh, legendary for this to hit, but I mean, there's a lot of legendaries that go under this anyway, so. But I mean, that was the best we could do. Attack! Can't give up my attackers with Gideon. Oh, this is really anticlimactic, right? I wonder if this is how I should try and come back. Like, it's like a perma blocker almost. I mean, I have to, like, have angels continue to come and come. I think it's actually this. And then just to um, dungeon geist that thing. This can also block the um, cat next turn for what it's worth. I already know you're not gonna block, so why, why are you pretending? They're so good at the game, bro. Yeah, brings the pain. Naturally. Oh, and it's only gonna be at four, so it's gonna dodge, smite the monstrous. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so maybe I have to dungeon guys this thing. Incoming! And they're probably gonna have like grudge match for this anyway. We fight Do you see one. the potential this deck has though? Like if they didn't have this to like ramp into well I guess I mean this doesn't matter, but the extra mana gym allows them to do other things for tempo. So I think this deck has a ton of potential. Even seeing like this next turn if this doesn't go off. It's nasty. Just like we practiced. Yeah, so I think that they have removal for this and they're just gonna swing at me with everything. But then I do have uh, Smite the Monstrous, so if I draw like another one drop flyer, that'd be really cool. 
Like a one drop flyer with this, or a two drop flyer with this would be really good. Don't play with me. I know you. Ha I know you have something. Hello, Delmar. Well, everything has flying, so. Um, do I just win if this doesn't go off? Please don't go off. Please don't go off. Please don't go off. Please don't go off. Yes. Yes. Hold on. Let me do the math on this real quick. So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, they have one blocker. Oh, but I have Gideon. But they're gonna heal for two. I don't know. It probably sets me up to win next turn regardless. Yeah, so they're gonna take uh, five, six, seven, then heal for two. So they're not dead yet, but they will be next turn because they can't answer all these flyers and I can just ignore them. This makes me really happy. As long as they don't have something like really stupid here. Yeah, get, get the hell out of here. It's your garbage. Yeah, I think um, Dungeon Geist, I think that was Dungeon Geist, is like also like a car that's like way under the radar that's gonna be like so, so good um, when it's time comes. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you like the four different spell slingers. Um, if you like this sort of thing, um, where I play like multiple decks, show off different things, um, I'd be more than happy to keep doing it. I think it's really fun. Um, and I just, I just got, um, let's see, the first one was free, so that's 800 and then 369, so, I mean, uh, what, that's 1700 gold, I mean, that's not, that's not too crazy, but, you know, it was, it was free, so, um, hope you guys enjoyed it again, uh, thank you guys for all your support, I'm getting really excited, getting close to that 1k goal, it's just, um, man, it's sweet, but, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.